Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So um, today is going to be kind of a fun little uh, random video. We're going to do a sort of a uh, unboxing, sort of a live-ish type thing. Obviously, I'm pre-recording, but I'm just going to plug everything in here and see how it works. Um, as I was talking about before, I was just trying to work on the uh, quality of the videos, increasing things up. So I've been using this microphone, which is literally a, um, it's like a skull candy microphone headset thing. And I think it sounds decent, but I paid 10 bucks for this. Um, but I wanted to get a new microphone. And so I punched some numbers on my budget and uh, my business had a little bit of extra money in it at the end of the year. So I went ahead and uh, invested in a Meteor mic. So um, it kind of came down to, for me, I was looking at, at the blue mics, the Yetis, the Snowballs, the Meteor mic. Um, my brother really likes the Samsung, uh, and he's a musician and records audio for his uh, video game over at uh, redfalconrun.com. Um, and, uh, you know, he really likes the Samsung. I asked some other musicians. They weren't quite as familiar with it. Did some research online. Apparently, you know, Samsung microphones are actually pretty good. And uh, so I looked at uh, the reviews of the Meteor mic, which I just think kind of looks kind of cool. Um, and then I looked at the, the blue and the blue ball, and um, those there are, um, uh, you know, everything, that, the pricing on this and the blue, uh, the, the snowball were about the same. Um, the reviews, you know, 5% of people don't like it. Most people really like it. So I think I wasn't going to go wrong with either one of them. And uh, I just kind of went with this one because honestly... Uh, everything I looked at, um, they seemed pretty, pretty compatible, pretty comparable. And so what I want to do here is um, come in and get this guy opened up. So I've not even opened it up. I have no idea. I mean, other than watching other people open these up online, I'm not quite sure exactly what we're going to get ourselves into. Um, hopefully we can just plug this in and and use it and i can actually change microphones on the video stream itself i'm not sure of course back and then back in the day that we used to be called plug and plug and play uh, was introduced in the uh, mid 90s or late 90s windows operating systems we used to call it plug and pray because if it did not work you had a long night ahead of you <laughs> so here we are um, we've got this guy opened up. There's a nice little foam insert here in the top of the box kind of to, to press into the microphone. So here we are, first time. I'm going to open this up. It's a little cold. It's been in the car for a little bit. I went out and picked it up. So there is um, there's a little screw on here that you can purchase a, a stand for. I was uh, hoping I might have something that might fit that, but I doubt I do. And uh, it does happen to have the tripod stands here that you can uh, roll these down and there's actually some rubber stoppers on the bottom of that there if you can see those rubber stoppers and uh, so that way you can kind of kind of go there um, on the back we have a, a traditional USB not the type of USB port I was anticipating and there's a headphone jack here which is for the monitoring it uh, uh, allows me to just kind of plug in so here so I can still monitor back what what I'm uh, listening to then there is a volume adjustment here which is to control my monitoring volume and then there's a push button here mute on and off so we also have a USB cable this one person said on a review that that uh, the cables very short it does not look like it to me that's not a short cable <laughs> Four feet tall. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's about a five foot cable there. Five to six foot cable. So uh, somebody said the cable was short. Uh, no, not really. Uh, very nice, very nice uh, carrying bag here. Uh, it's a very nice uh, velvety color there. So that's nice. And then we get a, a little booklet here. And there's some basic information. Now, uh, one of the things that I wanted to look at here, let's see, so there's instructions on downloading Samsung Sound Deck. I think Audacity will work for me. Of course, this is something that, that kind of bothers me about every piece of software. See that? It says, it says there if it focuses there, Windows or Mac. What is, I really, like every piece of device out there is like, like computerist, you know? It's like... It's it's PC or it's Mac, you know, or Mac or a PC or PC or Mac. It's like, no, how about, where's Linux and all these? I'd love to see a piece of equipment that actually says, hey, this works for Mac, PC, and Linux, no problem. But of course, 
us Linux people, you know, we, we just figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, let's see how this guy works. Um, grab my cables. Uh, my computer's starting to look like a MacBook Pro here, except I don't have any adapters. Everything's just plugged right into it. This is going to be like taking up the last USB port. Um, should not have a problem though. So what we're going to do, I'm going to plug this guy right in. I have no idea what this is going to do to my audio. I can monitor my audio over here. So when I'm looking away, I'm looking at my, my dual monitor setup. So I'm going to plug this guy in right here and I get the blue light. All right. So now I unveil, in theory, the thing should be set to go. Um, so one of the things that you can do is you can adjust it for how you're uh, talking so I kind of have it adjusted like this now set that on the desk so the microphone part is kind of facing up towards me and what I'll do here I'm going to transition to the screen so you can see what I'm doing uh, to adjust the microphones in Linux Mint just come down here hit the sound settings and hopefully this appears in the listing for sound settings if it does not I might need to log out and come back in but it looks like it has okay so there you go microphone meteor condenser microphone there's a uh, digital input. Now, mind you, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch the microphones over here and I'm gonna hopefully try and keep the input volume about the same. I'm gonna take a little bit of adjustment here and there. And also mind you that when I'm done with the video, I'm actually gonna play with the settings a little bit here so I can get this guy working. So it should be, let's see, I got, uh, this is for the webcam. These are the internals. Why not, hey, why don't we just play with all the internal mics for a second here? Okay, just trying to make sure that's working. I gotta watch on my monitoring over there. So my internal mic did not seem to work. Let's try. Um, here it. Whoa, 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 turn that down. There is internal mic there. That's probably equally horrible. usually use <laughs> I was trying to turn on the uh, microphone for the uh, webcam there um, that's uh, not turning on for me all right so let me just try these two meteors I haven't researched either one of these so let's see what happens okay check check Okay, so here is, we are now officially on the Meteor mic, and it looks like we are getting sound. I'm gonna to switch to the other one here too. Okay, check, check. Okay, so we have kind of two settings here, and it looks like um, looks like these two are equally about the same. Let me check that, check, check, check. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one. So we are now on the Meteor. That's kind of all it takes on a Linux uh, Mint system to transfer your your uh, sound over. Again, um, if you are on Linux Mint 18 and you're finding you cannot adjust your sound inputs, uh, check the video on my Linux Mint 18. Um, there is a little bug that I do not believe is fixed yet. And uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't because I had to go through a, a friend's computer recently and fix it. Um, but uh, there is a, a coding error on the sound input file. And if you fix that, then it will actually work for you. Um, so that's how easy it is on Linux Mint. I've never done that. I mean, I, I swear this box has never been opened. Uh, I just open the thing up, plug the thing right into the computer. Uh, no drivers, no installation. Um, I think sometimes that, that uh, the devices out there, um, I can get rid of this now. Um, the devices out there all have, you know, Mac or PC all over it, but nothing ever says Linux. And uh, I mean, I remember with my webcam that I'm using here, this is the uh, Logitech, uh, was it uh, C9920 or something. And with that, to get that to work on a Windows computer, I actually had to fight with the drivers. Um, no, it wasn't much of a fight, um, but uh, like, like Mac and Mike Tyson, if you're old enough to get that reference. Um, but I had to actually install drivers and, and do kind of stuff like that. And uh, you know, that wasn't, that, that's kind of a pain. Uh, Mac computer, the, my Mac computer is over here. 
Um, that you just plug right in and it works just fine. And the Linux computer, plug it in, works just fine. No drivers are needed or anything like that. So the same thing seems to go on for the microphone here. I'm gonna test the mute button right now. I'm just gonna test the mute. Yep, uh, mute works just fine. So when you mute it, you get this orange, orange light there that tells you that. And in theory, if I get really close and talk too much, okay, I should see a little pink in there, and, and I did. And that just tells you that you're getting too much gain, too much uh, feedback. So here, let me just check those sound settings again, transition back so you can see the sound settings. I'm coming down to the volume and the task manager, hit sound settings, and I'm gonna go to input. And here, basically, I just have my, my volume set at the default. It just actually says it's volume 100%, so hopefully that's not too bad. Okay, this one here is a little bit less. I'm gonna end up on this one. I'm gonna see which one of these gives me better volume. There's there's two different items there. But it's uh, it's very nice here that uh, I have a mic here that that uh, hopefully will will sound better and hopefully will give me a better video quality as I proceed on uh, on this the system. So again, um, Meteor mic. I hadn't seen anything with the Meteor mic with Linux. I think I encountered one video after intentionally looking for it. And uh, that's what I wanted to make sure I wasn't buying software or hardware that, that I'd have a difficult time on my computer. But uh, hopefully it works. And I think I'm done talking now. That should give me a good enough test. So this has been Tom and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.